watching Anchor TV. My name is Brian Brierley, and I'm here with Stephen Pina, Assistant Director of the Military Resources Center at Rhode Island College. How are you doing today, Stephen? I'm doing well. That's good to hear, Stephen. Can you tell us a little bit about the event that you guys are hosting here in the quad? So today we are coming out here to conduct laps on the quad. Uh, any way possible, we do have an abbreviated section, but it's kind of to give uh, recognition and honor those that have unfortunately passed on that day on September 11, 2001. We have alternative means for people to come out, and we have a remembrance board located in the Military Resource Center in the Student Union, room 205. Can you tell us a little bit just what this event means to you and your fellow members of the Military Resource Center? So personally, I feel like this is a great way to engage with the student body uh, and any visitors that come to campus. Uh, and it's their way to come out and give recognition and, and like honor those uh, in any way possible, whether it be one lap, five laps, 11 laps, or just writing a note and a little uh, respect to those, uh, whether that be family, friends, uh, affiliates, or like first responders. Thank you for your time today, Stephen. Thank you. You're watching Anchor TV. My name is Brian Brierley. I'm here at the Rhode Island College Quad during the March in Remembrance of the 9-11 terrorist attack. I'm here with one of the marchers. How are you doing today? Okay. Could you tell us your name and why you chose to march today? Louise Mack, and um, I didn't realize there was going to be a march. I thought there would be some kind of event, but when I found out, I decided, um, yeah, 11 laps is, is nothing compared to what people went through the ordeals of the people that survived and as you were filming somebody else I this expression just came to me let's roll like when you say you know with your uh, audiovisual and that was the phrase that I think his name was Todd he was on the plane that crashed in Pennsylvania he got the passengers together they knew they were all gonna die but they did something they were strong and I just hope that I could have that same kind of bravery um, my dad was, uh, was a veteran, not active duty. My uncle, uh, World War II, being trained as a Navy officer. The war ended, didn't see duty, but um, they, they were ready. And um, I just believe in something stronger, something bigger. You know, our nation, doesn't matter what, what you know, we're all just people. And um, I just, uh, it really hurts me to, to see that there's not much recognition um, of the younger generation of what happened because this was so significant. My daughter was two and we had no idea what was going on. We didn't know if our country was, we didn't know if we were in a war or what. It was just so startling and then not, and just getting news reports and not, not knowing what was going on till later. Um, and it was just very, very traumatic. Um, so never forget, just like a lot of other things, I think it's really important to keep a memorial. I'm really happy to see that. Um, my father was a professor here for 50 years in music and um, <sighs> passed away recently from COVID. And uh, um, it's tough to come back, uh, but uh, I think it's important to never forget and um, yeah, and I'm gonna walk and um, yep, doesn't matter, you know, just take a break and keep going because what those people went through, it's, it's nothing, you know, compared to a little discomfort in the heat and humidity, right? Of course. Condolences for your father, Lise. Thank you for your time today. Thank you.